Am I the asshole for kicking my daughter out because she hasn't found a job since moving in? Names changed for privacy. My daughter has not picked up any of my or my husband's calls over this. Were we wrong to have handled it this way? My daughter Amy graduated university a couple years ago and has had several part-time jobs since. Then, she would work for a few months, quit and look for another job which has better pay. At the end of last year, she asked if she could move in with us both in our 40s so she could save money and look for a job in the field she graduated in. That sounded good to us so we agreed. We did not expect any kind of rent or money from her at the time. Simply that she would find a job. However, it's almost August and she has not found a job yet. We asked about her job hunt and she said she was still looking and has not had any offers post interview. I feel tricked and lied to because surely she would have found a job by now. It's been months. She has also never mentioned going to any interviews and it felt like she was lying to to keep living here. Her field is one that is looking for more women to join the workforce. She has been living here for months to essentially do nothing. So, I talked with my husband and we both agreed it would be best for her to live with her aunt my husband's sister as she works in the same industry as the one my daughter graduated in. Maybe she could learn some things that will help her get a job quicker. We then told Amy that she needed to move out to her aunt's while she looks for a job because it's clear she isn't doing enough here and her aunt could help. She was upset. Immediately asked that if she contributed to some of the bills. She could stay but we said no and it was time for her get more serious about applying for jobs. She said nothing and packed her bags and left. We tried calling her today to ask her how her aunt's house is she lives an hour's drive away and did not answer us. Instead, she sent us a spreadsheet tracker of sorts which detailed job roles. Application links. Dates and stages of application where multiple said interview. I immediately felt guilty and tried to call her again. She will not pick up and her aunt sent my husband a text asking us to respect Amy's privacy while she stays with her. Were we assholes here? We tried doing what was best. I missed the part pf your post where you explained how you communicated with her about any of this. Before you dropped the ban hammer. I guess I must have skipped over it. Could you point me to where in your post you described the general communication process between you husband and your daughter? You're the asshole. Unless she's been a habitual liar. You had no reason to not trust her. She brought out the evidence to show you that she has been trying. And you rightfully should be feeling shame. As you said. Her aunt is more knowledgeable about your daughter's field than you. You should have first asked your daughter if she's talked to her aunt for advice about the field. Instead you choose a path that made her feel as if you one either don't trust her. Or have confidence in her and two that you don't fully have her back. You're the asshole. She's a new graduate trying to find a job in a field that is notorious for being heavily male dominated. It's very hard looking for work these days and the competition is fierce. Especially for someone who is new to the workforce and who doesn't have the years of experience so many companies require. All you did was make your daughter feel like a failure and piled even more stress onto her by pulling the rug out from under her. No wonder she's not taking your calls. And I wouldn't expect her to do so for quite a while. You're the asshole you tried to do what was best for you. Not for your daughter. It is very difficult for young people to find good employment these days. The world has changed quite a lot since you were young did you vote for those changes. And life is significantly harder for young people than it was 20-30 years ago.
rather than have empathy and support your daughter. You chose the role of authoritarian. It will likely be a while before you hear from her again. You're the asshole. A few months from now, you're going to be lamenting how your daughter has gone no contact with you. Then complain you have no idea why. You're the asshole. We tried doing what was best. How? You assumed your daughter was lying and tricking you. You kicked her out. All you did was destroy her trust in you. You're the asshole. You basically accused her of lying about having interviews. Kicked her out when she was struggling and needed support. And think you can just casually phone her up like everything is okay to boot. And now you feel guilty you want her back but can't give her even a few days space. What a joke. Were we assholes here? Yes. Because. I feel tricked and lied to. She was upset. Immediately asked that if she contributed to some of the bills. She could stay but we said no. The moment she realized you felt like she was taking advantage of you guys she was ready to prove. She wasn't by paying her way and you turned her down. So yeah don't expect her to want to talk to you while she gets herself on her feet at her aunt's house. The time to talk was before you kicked her out. You're the asshole. Dear op. The job market is brutal at this point have you seen the amount of layoffs happening at this point in time? There are probably 100 people fighting for one position and trust me with the way market is going. This is just going to get worse. You're the asshole if you actually didn't consider all this and simply kicked her out even. Qualified people with X number of years of experience have been unemployed for months. She just graduated for the love of Christ be kind op she needs support and you turned your back on her. You're the asshole. The economy is fucked up. Don't be a shitty, toxic parent. INFO did you talk to your sill before foisting your daughter upon her? Currently. It sounds like you are the R since it sounds like you are making some big assumptions about her. Field is it one that is hard to break into? Edit you're the asshole. You're the asshole mama. Because your daughter is not externally exhibiting what your expectations of what it looks like to look for a job. And her work cycles don't match what you expect. You kick her out. I'm in my 30s. And I swear a majority of the people I know approaching 50 or who aren't tech savvy have no idea of current business processes and just assume you're doing nothing but staring at a toy computer tablet all day when it's an essential tool for just about everything. You know what they say about assume, right? What's the goal? I honestly would like an answer. For her to be working in her field versus random jobs. For her too. What's the goal? Genuinely. I don't ever see myself kicking my sons out except violence. Theft. Drugs and abuse. But. As a reasonable person who likes her children. Why would I want him to leave? Does she make messes everywhere? Does she shove progressive opinions you hate in your face? I don't get it. Why do you even want her gone? You're the asshole. You're the asshole. You both made a lot of assumptions about her job search and kicked her out without even asking about the actual job search. Unfortunately, if she hasn't found full-time work two years after graduating, despite a regular search, there is a critical issue. Some possibilities low-degree GPA weeds out a lot of people. No relevant experience in summer or term jobs during her degree. Applying to jobs she isn't qualified for. Not being open to relocation. Interview problems. Or unreasonable salary expectations.